Hello, what's up and what's happening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we got the Buffalo Bills taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Jaguars are on top of the AFC South at 6-4. No other team is even over 500. Titans are right there at 500 and the Colts and Texans both 4-6. and six. The Bills are bringing up the rear of the AFC East, but so are the Patriots, excuse me, the Jets, Dolphins, and Bills. <laughs> we all know the Patriots, they run things in that division at least back in the day. Now, we're going to place another guy on IR and I'm thinking that I should just release these guys when I have a chance, but I'm not sure if I can. I know once I IR them, I cannot release them, but maybe when they're hurt, I can. I'm not quite sure. I got to try that out, but I did adjust the injury just a little bit, just slightly. I'm okay with the injuries. It just, if the roster's full, what can I do? I I, I put people on IR, and you still tell me that the roster's full. So, you know, I, I, I can't be out there playing with kickers and punters at defensive tackle. You know what I mean? So, we're going to go to free agency. Going to pick up Pat Watkins. He's a rookie free agent from Florida State. I should have looked him up because I'm like, who is this guy? He's a rookie and he's 75 overall already. He's like, I'll take it. I'll take his injury was at 89. Had to make sure that it was on the up and up. And now it's time to head to Buffalo. It's raining. It's pouring. Is the old man snoring. All right. McGee's going to open up the game with the opening kickoff. Takes it to about the 24-yard line. And that's what J.P. Lossman, Willis McGahee, and the Buffalo Bills offense will take over. They get the ball to McGay. He's going to pick up one yard there. We get some pressure, and we're going to take him down. Hayward, I'm telling you, man, the right end on the defense, no, left end on the defense, taking on the right tackle on the offense is a beast on these PS2 Maddens. No matter who he is, you will be. Taylor to the left side after we forced that three. Now he goes nowhere fast. Kerry Collins played magnificent last week, so he's our starter this week. Garrard is on the bench, and he might see some playing time. That pass bounces off the antenna receiver, going to get intercepted, and now the Buffalo Bills have great field position. They run the ball with McGahee. They're going to pick up a first down. Give it to him again. Going to pick up another nice gain there. Second down, two yards to go. Lostman going to hand it off to McGahee, and McGahee gets wrapped up from behind. So third down and three, play fake. And we get the sack with Ingram, our outside backer. They got to set up for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. And here comes MJD up to the 25-yard line. Collins looking, throwing it. Caught by Jones, but shot of the first down. So let's go four wide with the receiver or tied it in the slot because we only have four receivers on the roster at the cunning Hankins. And yeah, yeah, let's spread it out again. Like, it's second and inches. Third and inch with MJD and, of course, Fred Taylor. And we decide to run it. I mean, pass it. They decide to run it. And they go straight up the gut with McGahee to the crib. Who is calling the game plan here in Jacksonville? It's absolutely horrendous. That was just very, very bad decision making on my part. So, from the 21-yard line, we take over. Oh, we can go back to the air here. Got Fred Taylor in the flat. Makes the grab and puts us. In a very good situation. Second down and three. Going to follow our fullback. And look at that. We pick up the first down with some ease. Collins looking downfield. Going to Matt Jones yet again. And that's going to result in another nice gain. That sets us up with second down and short. Can go to the air here. Hoping that we can catch some nap. And then we do hit Jones. But he couldn't get both feet in bounds. So now we run the ball with Fred T. And Fred T. Going to get behind his big fullback. And tied in and pick up a first down. Reggie Williams. The most inconsistent guy on the team. He drops it all the, all day one week, then comes back the next week. Looks like Jay Rice. That pass caught by Jones, and right now our offense is percolating. When we are in the red zone for the first time today. Taylor to the left side, and that's going to result in a gain of seven. We're going to give it to Taylor here, and we're going to go backwards, and that's not what we're trying to do. Third down and six. Kerry Collins. Has, has a man wide open. That's Mercedes Lewis. And we down. And we are down to the one-yard line. First thing, go give it to Fred T. And that Buffalo defense playing stingy to end the first quarter. So we're looking for our first points of the ball game. They're looking for a goal line stand. We give the ball to Fred Taylor. Wrapped up and thrown down again. So third and goal. Going to go to the air here. And we have nobody open. We get sacked. We got to set up for a Scoby field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. We find ourselves on the scoreboard for the first time, but we're still loose. We're down by seven. Lostman trying to get loose. Won't get away from Ingram, but he does pick up a gain of four, so that's not bad. 
Now they run the ball with McGay, he breaks the tackle, then Hayward is there to clean him up. So third down and four now. Play fake and Mr. Henderson laying JP out. You gotta love it. We take over after the three and now, and there goes Taylor. North and south brought down by Spikes. Gain of eight there. We get the ball to Taylor. Brought down by Spikes again. So third down and three. Collins has it. Collins throws it. That pass hauled in by Reggie Williams. And that's a chain move for the Jacksonville offense. Look, looks like it has woken up. It is going to stay awake. We're going to run up, run the ball, pick up four, run the ball, go backwards maybe a little bit. And now Jeff Posey is shaking up. Hopefully it's not too serious for the Buffalo Bills Mafia. Or Bills Mafia, not the Buffalo Bills Mafia. It's just Bills. That pass is dropped and we got to get the ball right back to the Buffalo Bills. They're going to get that thing to McGahee and that run right there. Put him up over 100 yards. They give it to him again. And we're going to get him with John Henderson. So third down and eight. Quarterback draw. Lostman going to dive and going to say he picked it up by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. McGahee getting bullied in the backfield. You got to love it. Hayward coming through when we need him too. Hayward gets in there again. This time it's a sack. So third down and 17. Our defense is definitely keeping us in this one. That pass is caught by Reed. And we get the stop right there with Peterson. So 2.09 on the clock. What can Kerry Collins do? It's the old man from Penn State. Hands the ball off the Fred Taylor for a yard. Second down and nine. Gonna look for Edwards. That pass hits him, but then he got hit from behind. And that pass goes straight to the grass. Now Collins throws it up. That pass caught by Reggie Williams. He comes through yet again when we need him to. And now we're gonna get sacked from behind as the protection breaks down. Second down and 18. Collins looking underneath, gonna find Lewis. Minimal gain there, and he fumbles it, and the Bills recover it with London Fletcher. In under two minutes, I can't challenge. It's up to the review booth, and the booth is like, there's no review to be seen here. So I'm like, okay, second down and 10. Minute 0 02 on the clock, out of the gun. They spread things out, no running back. There's five receivers, and they throw it up, and we almost walk up out of there with the pick. Third down and long. Lostman throws it to the left side, caught by Reed, but it's going to be shy of the first down. So 47 seconds to work with. Collins steps up, going to throw this one deep, and it's out of the hands of Ernest Wilford. We got to make that catch. Collins to Edwards. That pass bounces off of his hands as well. 38 seconds to work with. Collins, tunnel vision on Lewis. There's three Buffalo Bills in the area. It's tipped and picked by McGee, brought down by Williams, and they're on the fringes. A field goal range. They're going to run the ball with McGahee. We back him up out of there. Peterson with the TFL. Can we get another stop? They throw it, and that pass is incomplete. 23 seconds to work with. Third down and long. Lostman throws it underneath. Caught by Reed, but they should be back in field goal range. The kick is up, and it is good. And that is going to do it for the first half of play. We find ourselves down by 10. Now, we've turned the ball over three times. And to only be down by 10 isn't really that bad. We shouldn't be losing to a team like this nonetheless. But hey, this is the situation that we find ourselves in. It is the NFL, and all these teams are pretty darn good. Last time I checked, you don't bring your A game. You could be on the losing end versus a team you shouldn't be losing to. And that pass was ugly. And we got to give the ball right back to Buffalo. Their first position of the first or the second half, excuse me, will go up the gut to McGahee. Now play fake. Lostman has it. Going to find Peerless Price. And that pass is hauled in for a first down. He's played with some great quarterbacks. In college, it was Peyton Manning, Michael Vick with the Atlanta Falcons, and now J.P. lost. McGahee to the left side, going to pick up a yard. They fake it. J.P. going to get loose. J.P. will not get loose. We get the stop right there on the design quarterback, quarterback keeper. And now we're looking downfield on first and 10. Got Fred Taylor who gets smacked by Spikes. The helmet comes off. But I think... He's okay, and the fade was looking immaculate. That pass going to be caught and then dropped by Jones. Another big hit, believe that was Posey, who's back in the ball game. Collins surveys the field, looking for Taylor out of the backfield, and he's loose. And the Florida Gator gets chopped down in Buffalo Bill territory. Collins letting this thing spin. That pass caught by Jones underneath. So gain of four there, second down. Looking for Jones again. It's going to be intercepted by the Keo Spikes. The Keo spikes off to the races. Breaks a tackle and finally brought down from behind by Fred Taylor. Now Lostman throws it to Dom Beebe. I'm just joking. It's Josh Reed. And that's going to result in a touchdown. So we find ourselves down by 17. 
Well, we're only halfway through the third quarter, so there's still plenty of time. But we got to score on this drive, and preferably it will be a touchdown. We run the ball, we pick up a first down, we we'll bring it back hold it. Could we just not make mistakes anymore? Looking downfield, that pass broken up. Could we make some better reads than before? Second down and 19, we're going to run the ball. What is happening? What is going on? Third down and 19, Kerry Collins, we need a miracle. He throws it up. That pass is tipped, but still caught by Edwards on third and a mile. Collins looking. That pass going to be caught by Edwards again. He's coming through in a major way. Collins drops back, looking for Matt Jones, and that's a dime. Right in between the defenders for a first down. We're going to get the ball to Fred Taylor. Bully ball to the four-yard line. Second down to go. We're going to give it to him again, and he's going to find the end zone touch. Down, Jags. We're back down by 10. Defense, we got to get a stop here. They throw it. That pass nearly intercepted by Williams. Second down and 10. They're going to run the ball. McGahee put in a box and shipped up out of here. So third down and 10. Lostman looking. Has all day. Steps up. Throws it. It's caught but shy of the first down. And that's going to set up the punt team. 21 seconds on the, on the clock. We're going to run the ball with MJD. Had a lane, but we hesitated. And that's going to be the last play of the third quarter. So here we go. Second down and eight. We got to do something here. Fourth quarter action now. We got to move the ball. We're going to find Fred Taylor. One of our better receivers today coming through in a major way. MJD, just hang on to the ball. Don't fumble my ball, Petey. Second down and five. Collins looking. Collins going down. It's third and forever, ever. That pass caught by Pyramid, but it's fourth and eight. Too long for a field goal, too short for a punt. We're going to go for it. And Kerry Collins throwing nothing but heat-seeking missiles out there. The old man still got it. That time, not so much. We had a receiver open, couldn't quite get the football to him. Second down and 10, dropping back, going to the end zone. It's caught. Ernest Wolfer coming through. The pressure was all over Kerry Collins, but he's as cool as the other side of the pillow. That pass broken up by Rasheed Mathis. Second down and 10. We jump off sides. Not what we're trying to do. Not trying to jump off sides in that situation. Second down and 5. Looking down. Field to Mathis. He's going to step in front of it. 20, 15, 10, 5, and out of bounds at the one yard line. First and goal. We're going to give it to Jones. They set up a Buffalo brick wall, and we go nowhere. Second down and go. Fred Taylor, he goes nowhere. Third and go. Got to go to the air here. Collins looking, looking, still looking, and we did what we couldn't do. We threw a pick to the king, and that is heartbreaking to say the least. So we're down by three. J.P. Lossman and the Buffalo Bills take back over. Well, we get another sack. It's Hayward again. Forces a fumble. The Bills are there. That was the third sack of the contest. Second down to 15, we get a back-to-back -back sacks, nearly a safety. Third down and 20, they get the ball up the gut to McGahee, and we stop him from picking up a first down. So 4.52 on the clock. MJD's going to get the carry, and he gets wrapped up quickly. Second down and 10, going to spread things out. Collins looking, throws it to Mercedes Lewis. The UCLA rookie coming through in the clutch yet again. Looking downfield for Matt Jones, a tight window, but Collins got that 95 throw power. It comes in handy. Collins steps up, throws it. That pass hauled in by Jones, just shy of the first down marker. So our formation, we're going to run the ball here with MJD. Got a mean block by Greg Jones. Two pancakes for the price of one. And now we're going to run the ball again with MJD. Get nervous because he has an issue with thumbing the football. Looking downfield, that pass caught by Wilford, and that's going to be a first down move, those change. Our formation, give it to Taylor. He gets met and picks up just yard. We're looking to do that. That pass falls incomplete. 47 seconds on the clock. Third down and nine. Collins under pressure. Down he goes. So, Scobie, we need you to hit this one and hit this one. He does, and we tie it up. It's the first time the game's been tied since it was 0-0. Now McGee, weaving through traffic, is brought down just past the 35-yard line. So first and 10 from the 37. They throw it. That pass caught by Davis. That's going to result in a first down. Seven seconds on the clock. Lossman heaves it up. Field broken up, nearly intercepted. Three seconds to work with. Last chance to do something. Second down and 10. They got to heave it deep. 
And they won't get it off as Hayward gets in there for the pressure and we're headed to overtime. So we get to have the toss again. It's our pick. And we're going to go with Tails because I heard it never fails. And here it is true. So MJD from his own five-yard line works his way upfield to about the 28. And that's where we're going to start the overtime session with the football. First down and 10 from the shotgun. Looking downfield and we get hit. And that pass hits the grass. Kerry Collins, 23 of 40 with four interceptions, one touchdown. But, hey, he's been throwing the heck out of that football. We run the ball, we pick up around five. Collins looking down field. That's Greg Jones wide open, but we hesitated just enough, and it leads him out of bounds. We go three and out in overtime. What's happening? That pass caught by Reed, and that's going to result in a gain of nine. Offset eye look. They're going to run the ball to the left, and that's going to result in a first down. McGay, he up the gut, has been a man against boys today. Lossman throws it. Nearly intercepted by Mathis again. Second down and 10. Lossman looking. Throws it deep. Darius and Mathis are there, and that pass falls incomplete. Excuse me, Darius and Cousins are there. Third down and 10. Three man on the D line. I'm going to send the blitz though and enforce a quick pass. And Mathis is there for his second pick of the game. 20 20 is the score. We run the ball with Taylor right up the gut. Picks up two. Collins going to the air. Throws it. Batted away. Third down. Can we avoid going three and out again? Collins looking. Throws it to Jones, who was in the slot. You know he's trouble. Another catch for the one time quarterback of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Reggie Williams, one of the top possessions in the yeah, draft pass, in the ghost of draft pass, coming through right there. Taylor to the left side. Bully ball we're in field goal range. We've been in field goal range. Just trying to make it as close as we can. The kick is up. The kick is good. And we survive. We survive. We did not conquer, but we won. It was not pretty, but we won. We were down. We kept fighting, and we got the victory, and that's all that matters. That quarterback rating was dreadful. The, 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 the passing completion percentage was not great. The interceptions were not great. The rushing attack, I mean, we stuck with it. That's all I can say. We stuck with the ground game, and that's always big. I think you have to, every team, you have to stick with the ground game. Uh, even the air raid team, like I was watching old school Hawaii highlights with uh, Colt Brenner. And, uh, and um, yeah, even they ran the ball more than you would probably remember, more than you probably, like, would think that they would. But they actually did run the ball quite a bit. For a, a for, again, for an air raid offense. Take it for a grain of salt, what I'm saying. But you know what I mean. Anyways, man, winners and losers of week number 12. Lions, they beat down the Dolphins. Then you got the Buccaneers getting beat down by the Cowboys. Chiefs over the Broncos at Arrowhead. The Falcons fall to the Saints. And then you got the Steelers getting beat down by the Ravens. Ravens are 4-7. and seven. They won back-to-back -back games. Jaguars, we will beat the Buffalo Bills, obviously. The Bengals, they will beat the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. The uh, Cardinals, they go to Minnesota and get the win there. The Patriots, they could not beat the Bears. Was that the game that Brady broke, what's his name, ankles? I think it was. Uh, Earl Ackers, right? The Jets, they get the better of the Texans. Rams fall to the Niners. Titans, they will beat the Giants. The Skins, they will beat the Panthers. And then the Chargers beat down the Raiders, 51-14. to Colts over the Eagles. Seahawks, I believe they got the win as well. That is going to do it. Next week, we'll be taking on the Dolphins who are 3-8. Another AFC East foe. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, love. Hot sauce.